Danielle from Finding Silver Pennies. Um, today I am going to show you a technique to use on your painted furniture. Um, today we're going to be doing uh, a technique, it's called a wash, and a lot of you who read the blog have wanted to know how to do that. So um, I have a secretary that is from the 1940s that's going to be for our living room, and I feel like I've been working on it forever. Um, it took Luke a long time to get the shelf out that's, um, that goes inside. So that's in the other room and I've painted it French linen. The, this currently has two coats of French linen, a coat of decade blue, and then I did wet distressing so you could see some of the French linen through it. And now I want to add a wash on top. I have started a little bit doing the wash up there. Um, to create a wash, I like to use old white chalk paint. You can use any other paint that, that you like to use as well. Um, and what you do is you water the paint down a little bit and then you brush it on. You can leave it if you want a heavy wash look or you can wipe it back. And I like to use Viva paper towels because they don't have, I don't know if you can see, they don't really have any texture to them so you can wipe it on and it's fine it doesn't it it doesn't give any kind of texture like a paper towel texture so um, we wipe it on and then you just leave that section if you've done too much like if it looks too white on top of your color um, then you can just while it's still wet take a wet paper towel and wipe it off and it'll go right back to the layer that you just had so I've done a little on the top, and I'll show you um, here now on the front. And this is just gonna just want to get a little tiny bit on your brush, kind of wipe off the excess, and just kind of brush it on. And don't be don't be worried; it's just paint. Um, if you don't like the look, you can just wipe it off. Um, just kind of wanna. Work in sections so you have more control. And I'm going to just go right over the effects molding that I've painted and put on. Um, I'm just going to wipe back in sections in a second. I thought it would be good for you guys to see it on a piece of furniture I'm actually doing rather than a sample board. Then you can see. When I do the before and after, how it comes out. So just put that there. Now you want to take your Viva towel, and I usually do kind of, I like the select a size, and I usually do like two at once, and then I wipe it back. And I try to use an even pressure across the whole thing. Let's see here, it kind of, you can kind of go back over. This doesn't look so stripey. You kind of, I don't know if you can see on the video, but doing this technique adds a little bit more depth than just regular having one coat of paint. Kind of makes it look time worn. It's kind of it's dried a little bit down lower. So I'm just gonna add some water to my towel.
dry brush some duck egg to cover that white. Okay, so I don't know if you, I think that's all you can see from where the camera is, so. Um, I'll show you the inserts too, so you can see the difference that the dry brushing makes on the French linen. It almost makes it look like it has, a, or not dry brushing, the wash looks on the French linen. It almost gives kind of a weathered look. So I recommend all white if you're working on an old piece of furniture that you want it to look like historic and old. If you're working on a nautical piece, I recommend pure white because, or a mixture of all white and pure white because it kind of gives a more seaside, clean look. Um, I hope that helps and I will um, show you a bit more of the progress and then the full reveal of the piece. Thanks for watching.